Hey guys, today I wanted to make a really quick video showing you how to implement a rich text editor in React. Um, so we're going to use the Prime React library. It has a built-in rich text component called editors. That's the name of their component and it's super easy to use and uh, it looks great as well. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into the terminal here. You're going to go ahead and start a new React project. So npm create React app and I'm going to add a dot to indicate I want it in this directory. So that's how I'm going to go ahead and start a new React app. Now, the next thing once that's done installing that we're going to do is install the Prime React library and the Prime React icons library, which is just Prime icons. So those are going to be used in the component, uh, both of them. So you're going to need to make sure you have both installed. And I'll show you that here. It's almost done installing. Great, so I'm gonna go ahead and use yarn add, but you can also use npm install. So I'm gonna go ahead and run yarn add prime react, and then I'm also going to do prime icons like so, and that will install both of them at the same time. And while that's running, I'm gonna go ahead and delete some unneeded files here. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete app.css. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete, um, we'll delete logo, report web vitals, and setup tests. Uh, delete all those just to clean up the area here. I'll go ahead and get rid of this function call, uh, this import, and then I'm going to save that. And then in app.js, we'll get rid of those two lines. And then I'm also going to go ahead and uh, replace app.js with app.jsx so I can use that uh, JSX syntax if I like. Great. So now that Prime React and Prime Icons are done installing, let me go ahead and clear out this app component as well and give it some styles for display purposes. So let's say, let's just do padding um, 75 pixels. Great, so that should make a display a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and now I'm going to uh, first add the CSS files. I'm gonna import them into the app component here. Uh, whatever component that you're going to use uh, their editor component inside of, you can go ahead and import it at that level. Or if you'd like to use the Prime React and Prime Icons libraries elsewhere in your app, you can uh, import them at a higher level. It really doesn't matter. Um, so there's a getting started documentation page that I'll leave a link down the description in the description below to. And I'm grabbing the CSS files from there. Uh, here they are. Import lines, I'm grabbing straight from there. And there they are. Now I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and also um, import the editor, the editor uh, component from Prime React at slash editor. Uh, so I'm gonna import, and then in brackets, I'm gonna do editor from, oops, not form, from Prime, Re Prime React slash editor. And there's one thing I forgot to do. We actually need to install Quill as well because that is a dependency for the rich text ed editor. So I'm gonna go run yarn add Quill like so. And it should be done, there it is, fantastic. So the basic one's really easy to set up. I'm actually gonna also import a uh, use state here so that we can set the value into a state. I'm gonna set up a, a new use state, so we're gonna do const value one, and then we'll let, let GitHub Copilot complete it here. So value, I'm gonna set this to an empty string. So now we have an empty state, and we have all of our imports here. Okay, I've made a few more changes to the styling. I've changed the display to flex, uh, added some gap. This is just for display purposes to make this look uh, a little bit better for the video here. I've also added a co uh, component wrapper. So a div wrapper here with the width of 50% because we're gonna have two different rich text editors and I want to show both of them displayed side by side. So again, this is just for the video display, um, but, but to set the proper width for the rich text editor, I would set a wrapper div as I've done here and set the width on that uh, only because it allows you to set the header and the body of the rich text editor width at the same time. And so it makes it quite a bit easier to style. Now inside of this, new wrapper div, I'm gonna go ahead and start with adding a new editor component here and set the value equal to value one, that state that we set earlier. Set the event on text change as so, 
is going to be equal to a function that you're going to feed through the event and I'm going to use e as a placeholder variable for that and we're going to go ahead and set value one or whatever your state name is equal to HTML value like so and I'm going to go ahead and save that now actually I got to close the tag first so now I'm going to save that and I'm actually going to add some extra height here so I'm going to go ahead and set height or style I'm sorry equal to height let's say 300 pixels uh, like so and I'm going to go ahead and save that that's just again for display purposes great so now this looks great this is exactly what we want um, it's a rich text editor hi there you know we could, as you can see normal text um, setting a heading uh, we could set it to a different font here and you can also set say the text color great so this works exactly as we expect um, again you have images you can add some code here um, you have some image uploads all sorts of different options and it makes it super easy to use great so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to customize this header template here because this is a lot of options and maybe you don't want uh, all these options or don't need all these options for your application so we're going to go ahead and just use bold uh, italic and underline for our second header template so i'm going to go ahead and go head back to visual studio code and i'm going to set a new uh, div wrapper here with the style of 50 percent width and i'm going to go ahead and close that and inside of that div wrapper, again, we're going to set a normal editor. So let's go ahead and set this normal editor exactly as we did last time, except using a new state that we're setting right now. So value two and set value two. And then we're going to go ahead and allow GitHub, co GitHub Copilot to complete this as it can guess exactly what we're doing here. So this is the exact same editor as the one above, and it should show up exactly the same. Perfect. Side by side, two exact same editors. Now to set the actual header template, we're gonna go ahead and use a render function. So you're gonna render a new uh, partial component. So I'm gonna call this uh, const render header, or you can do, I can do render custom toolbar, I like that. So render custom toolbar, and I'm gonna go ahead and have it set return. And this is per the documentation that Prime React has. Um, and there's more documentation from Quill, which is the plugin for this um, for this editor that Prime React uses, and so in the Prime React documentation, there's a link to the Quill documentation, and that can show you which options you can use up in the header uh, for the template. So the three that we're going to use again are bold, italic, and underline. So I'm going to go ahead and set span, and you want this is going to be the wrapper. This can be whatever you want, and I'm going to set it equal to QL dash formats. So that's what you need to set um, QL dash formats. That's for quill formats for the header here. So you're gonna need to set that um, on the wrapper div. And then inside of this div, for each option, you're going to need to set QL dash, for the class name, you're gonna have to set QL dash options. So for example, QL dash bold, QL dash italic. And I'll go ahead and show you that now. So you're gonna set a button and we'll do class name is equal to again ql dash bold and the other thing we're going to set is aria label as so and we're going to set that equal to bold for the bold and then close that button and then we're going to do the same for italic and underline equal to ql italic and uh aria label italic and then underline there as well so this should work great if i close the function up properly and then I'm going to go ahead and run this render toolbar or custom toolbar function um, in the property header template, like so, just like this. And this should work fantastic. So let's go ahead back, go and go back and refresh. What's going on here? Let's see. Let me set this to equal to a variable. So I can say const header is equal to render custom toolbar and run that function. And it's inside here, I'm going to go ahead and set header and refresh. And there it is. So it looks like you can't actually feed a function through for that property. But if you run the function, set it equal to a variable and then feed that variable through, it seems to work great. So now if we go in here, we can see this all still works properly. 
Um, I think it's a hello in bold, hello in uh, in italic, etc. Um, etc. That's not how you spell italic, but it doesn't matter. Uh, so this is perfect. This is exactly what we're looking for, and I hope this video helped. If it did, please leave a link or please leave a like and subscribe. I'm gonna go ahead and leave links to documentation for both getting started for Prime React and also for uh, the rich text component. Thanks for watching.